Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to another episode of Can Someone Save Derby County from Minus 21? Today we are looking at our first English manager to take on this challenge and it's Sam Allardyce who has a fairly decent record at keeping sides in a division. Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also, don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's have a look at Sam's profile, shall we? So here he is then, Big Sam Allardyce. Looking at the stats, the mental stats are actually very impressive. Player management of 16, motivation of 15, level of discipline of 15 and determination of 15 as well good knowledge in judging player ability and judging player potential mental is at 16 as well in the coaching stats as is defending at 12 so he has some of the credentials you would like to see for a man that's got to get a team back from minus 21 let's go to the 1st of september and see where they are first of all we need to take a look at the signings they have bought in at the end of of the transfer window it's the first time that anybody's really done something properly in the summer window so Bali Mumba has joined from Norwich Nelson Mosquero has come in from Wolves Maurizio Pochettino has joined them from Watford and Caleb Watts has joined them on loan from Southampton so that's a bit of transfer activity has it helped them out fixture wise so they collected four points from the opening month of the season. Wins over Peterborough and wins over Hull. Significant ones because I think they're probably going to be sides that are going to be in and around them come the end of the season. Defeats to Nottingham Forest, Middlesbrough and Huddersfield. But only by the odd goal in each game. So it's been an okay start. Where does that leave them in the league table? Currently leaves them on minus 17. Coventry in 21st place on five points as it stands. Obviously, with the new update for Football Manager now, Reading's points deduction has been added in there as well. So that might help us out a little bit later on, although Reading's point deduction is far less than what ours is. So taking a look at the results for September and the result from October so far. So a win over Birmingham, a win over West Brom, defeat to Stoke City, and then three draws against Sheffield United, Reading and Swansea. That is the closest we've come to an unbeaten month in quite a few managers so far. Let's take a look and see where that's left them. Moves them on to minus eight after 11 games. Clutcher sides on nine points above them and Coventry on seven as well. So it's been an okay start. Positive goal difference. The most wins out of the sides in the bottom five. They've even got more wins than West Brom have at this point in the season. So it's been a good start from Sam. Sadly, the momentum has come to a bit of a halt in October. Just the one win over Luton. Defeats to Coventry, which is a big one because they were down the bottom end of the table with them. Defeats to Blackburn. They weren't far away either. Preston, the other game that they lost. So just four points in total from the month of October. So moves them on to minus five. Coventry and West Brom are on 13 at the moment. So it's not an unbridgeable gap at this point, but they do need to start getting some more wins on the board. So here we are at the end of November, and seven points is their reward from the month. Big win over Fulham and QPR. Defeats to Barnsley and Bournemouth, and a draw with Millwall. To show for their efforts what's that done to the league position still bottom but into a positive kd with two points 16 points from safety at the moment you have to say after 20 games that's probably i think the earliest we've ever got into positive i think pep guardiola might have got there a little bit quicker than sam but he's doing very well so far Christmas time is a big time for football. Let's have a look at the results from December. And they had an okay end to 2021. Five points from it. So let's see what that's done to them. Moves them on to seven points. West Brom are far and away now. Up to 31 points. Our West Brom Albion. 
Coventry are the target at the moment. They are on 24 points. So they are 17 points from safety at this point. And we are past the halfway point of the season as well. They need a very good January, both in terms of results and in terms of players coming into the football club to aid the relegation fight. So just the two additions in the January transfer window. Ashley Fletcher has come in from Watford and Kenny Chukmumwenka has joined them from Aston Villa. So two very good players there. Ashley Fletcher in particular, he does know where the goal is in the championship. Doesn't score many, but he does know where the goal is at least. Let's take a look at the fixtures. And January was okay. Two wins, Sheffield United and Birmingham City were put to the sword. Two defeats losing to Nottingham Forest and to Reading. Moves them on to 13 points, 16 points from safety. I think this is probably the smallest gap we've had at this point. We've got 17 games to go. Can Sam Allardyce do what no one else has done so far and keep Derby in the championship? Not if they perform like this in February. Just the five points from the month a win over Millwall all they've really got to show for it a draw with Peterborough and a draw with Middlesbrough defeats to Luton defeats to Hull and to Huddersfield only by the odd goal though the margins they're so small at the moment for Derby a bit of luck going their way will help them massively in the month of March but let's see where that leads them at the end of February so they're on to 18 points They've got 10 wins. That is more than the sides above them. Got a double what Peterborough have currently had. It's the losses that are bringing them down at the moment. And as I've said, the margins, they're so small. It's agonizing to watch at the moment. 11 games to go, 11 cup finals to come. Let's see where they are at the end of March. We have it. We finally have an unbeaten month. Two wins, two draws. Fantastic. Admittedly, we would have hoped for four wins or at least three wins, but maybe I'm pushing my luck too much at this point. So that's eight points from the month of March. Let's see where it's left them. On to 26 points with seven games left to play. They're in with a shout. They are in with a massive shout at the moment. Nine points from safety with seven games left to play this could be it folks this could be the one can sam allardyce break the mold let's get to the end of april and as soon as they give me a crumb of comfort it gets taken away five points from the month of april starting it with three back-to-back -back defeats all the momentum made up in march gone by the middle of april so we know what's coming. Let's have a look. And Derby have been relegated with 31 points at this moment in time. We've got one game left to look at. Let's take a look at the final game of the season against Cardiff. Where they lost at home by a goal to nil on the final day of the championship season. So that leaves them at the bottom of the table on 31 points. I'm gutted. Because I genuinely thought when March came round and we had the unbeaten March that this was the moment. This was the one that we were going to finally keep Derby up. And it was going to be Sam Allardyce of all people to do it. But it wasn't meant to be. 14 points from safety. So they would have comfortably stayed up had they had the 21 points back again. So let's see where that leaves Sam on the leaderboard. So it puts Sam in third place behind Jurgen Klopp and Pep Guardiola at the top of the table. Who would have thought it, eh? I would have expected Sam to at least bimbio Ralph Radnick, but there we are. Big Sam currently sitting third. So it leaves him in fairly decent company, doesn't it? Just behind Pep Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp. We were so close so so close but alas it wasn't meant to be for big sam my question now is 
who will be next have your say in the comments below and we will check out another manager next time around can he save derby from minus 21 find out next time if you've enjoyed today's video please leave a like if you haven't subscribed to the channel please click that subscribe button down in the corner and i will see you next time thanks for watching goodbye